As the world celebrates World Oceans Day on the 8th of June, coastal communities who are heavily reliant on the ocean for their livelihoods are facing rapidly depleting marine resources. Now, in an effort to assist small-scale fishers, WWFSA has launched a project in the Gokhoberg area on the Fast Bay coast to record marine life below the surface. The fishers deploy baited underwater video cameras. For many, this has been the first glimpse of what takes place beneath the waves, giving them a better understanding of the conservation issues. Let's take a look. A crew consisting of a skipper, scientists and local fishers head out to sea. Their mission is to deploy an underwater camera system known as a baited remote underwater video. The Bruves consists of a video camera and a bait container with chopped up fish. The rigs are lowered at set GPS points in and outside the marine protection area and left for an hour to record the activity in that specific area. The whole idea of the project was um, for a community-driven community research project that would make sure that the fishers um, are participating in co-management of the fishery. That's why um, fishers will always t tell you that now they know what is going on under underneath the water. They can also advise some of the fellow fishers what is underneath there. So it's all about co-management and getting the fishers to be proud of what is happening in their vicinity um, because they live off the ocean. Participating fishers are now starting to understand and appreciate the role and value of a marine protection area. Now we can get a better idea of marine life, what really happens under the water. If there is growth, and can marine life increase, so it helps us a lot. In the past, fishermen felt excluded from and did not always see the reasons for declaring marine protected areas. We're using the baited remote underwater videos where they get first-hand experience of the dynamics of the fish that's in protected areas and in non-protected areas and seeing the difference firsthand. So they get to see that in protected areas there's bigger fish, there's a lot more diversity and all that bodes well for them as fishers because those, those protected areas provides a spillover effect into the fishing areas which they are ultimately dependent on. Angelo Janssen has been employed part-time to analyse the video material. He has been trained to identify the various fish species that have been recorded and put the data in an online system, which is then verified by scientists from the Shark Conservancy. They said that Stienbras has been extinct here in the area, but on the Bruvs it's shown that they are back in the area. They are just rare and in winter and in summer the fish disperse. By experiencing firsthand the value of protecting our marine resources, these local fishermen are now playing their part in conserving this valuable resource that they depend on. Linky Birman, SABC News, Kochelberg.